Fitness assessment one, this is going to have two parts to it, a strength and a conditioning portion. Each portion is going to have specific exercises you're going to do in the proper ways. So we're going to go over in this video how to do the workout so that we can repeat it again in six weeks and compare apples to apples. For the strength portion of the workout, you're going to do one minute of push-ups on your knees, followed by one minute of rest, one minute of body weight squats, followed by one minute of rest, and then one minute of a plank max. So in that case, if you can hold, only hold a plank for 30 seconds, you're only going to hold the plank for 30 seconds, and then you rest five minutes before moving on to the conditioning. Now, let's go over form. Knee push-ups, body in a straight line, going all the way down to where your elbow is higher than your shoulder. For body weight squats, you're gonna squat all the way down to where your hips get below your knees and then stand to the very top. Hips below your knees, looks just like that. Make sure you stand up fully extended. Next is plank where there's a straight line between your shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle. Maintain that position for as long as possible and then drop down. After you've rested five minutes, it's 15 minutes of as many rounds as possible of 20 jumping jacks, 15 mountain climbers each leg, and 10 lunges each leg. So as soon as you're done with the lunges, you go right back into jumping jacks and complete as many rounds of that as possible in the next 15 minutes. Now, let's go on to form. Jumping jacks, hands and feet start together. Hands go out, feet go out. Hands go in, feet go in. Real time looks like this. Mountain climbers, you start with one leg in front, one leg straight behind you, jump and switch. Jump and switch. All you need to make sure of is that the knee is in front of your hip. In real time, looks like this. Last exercise is the lunge. You're gonna take a big step forward. Make sure at the bottom that your knees are at a 90 degree angle on both legs. And that each time you alternate sides. So you cannot do 10 one side and then 10 the other. Some strategy behind this workout. One is with the strength, just do as best as you can. Don't allow for any internal dialogue of good, bad, should, shouldn't. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Uh, when it comes to the conditioning, try to, the entire time, to be able to take a big belly breath, meaning you should be able to go <gasps> the entire time. If you find yourself needing to breathe really, really heavy, you might be going too fast. And you're going to run out of steam before 15 minutes is up. You're going to have to rest three minutes between each round. We understand this workout's already hard enough as it is. Let's not make it harder by killing ourselves too early. Okay. Now, standards to go from this assessment to the next one because there are four levels. We need to complete at least 20 push-ups, 20 squats, and hold the plank for 60 seconds in strength. And then for the conditioning, you need to complete at least seven rounds. Good luck, kick butt, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.